Not again. Oh, not again. Nope, not again. Maybe I need to sit. Now, here's something I have to tell you. Let, let me just say this right out the gate. Because if you saw my last Zara video, you know I said about those sequin shorts. I said, look, give me until summer 2024. I am going to tone my legs up. And that's when I'm going to wear these shorts. Bottom line. In case you didn't see episode three of life. the Influence like, is Influencing. This is not what it's hitting for. Mm -mm. This right here. Ah, ah, no. So I got to tighten that up before I even think about putting these on. I know that before I wear these, I'm going to, for real, like do wall Pilates. The legs going to look real good. And I'm going to lift the tush a little bit, lift the toot toot. So you can see from the side, like I'm going to lift all of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and rock these. these. I'll probably be ready for these by, um, Probably about the summer. Summer 2024. You know I took the shorts to Jamaica, right? You know I wore the shorts, right? I mean, it just is what it is. What's up, it's Yoyo the House Lady. Welcome back to my channel where we never say never when it comes to fashion. Okay, so I have some new in pieces and as you can see, none of it has been opened. I just got back from Jamaica. So I had some packages here. Some of them arrived before I left. But if you know, I've told you before, I have a bad habit of ordering things and just throwing them to the side, not even opening the packages. And then when I finally do, if it's something I don't like, I've already exceeded the return period. So I got to get into these packages. My goal is to do this unboxing and also give you some footage of Jamaica. Because all I can tell you is I tried to vlog when I was in Jamaica. Baby, Jamaica was a time. Jamaica was a time. So I'm going to give you as much of the footage as I can. But in the meantime, let's get into these pieces. And we can start with what I have on. I want to see if I can stay in frame. I hope I can. But this... um. I guess this is a corset bustier, um, what is this called? Peplum. So this is a peplum top. This is Ronnie Kobo. Oh, I'm acting like I just bust out a whole braid wig on y'all. So my head is so down. Um, like I said, I had a ball in Jamaica. Um, and even if it wasn't, I would still wear my wig if I wanted to. But I just threw this wig on to keep it cute. So let's get into it. This um, is a peplum top. It is Ronnie Kobo. And I absolutely love it. This really should have been in my um, episode of my latest episode of the influences influencing because i actually saw this style peplum on a uh, content creator but i don't remember her name however i did find the one she was wearing and the one she was wearing had like a collegiate type of letter on the front it was real cute but then i happened to come across this one i got this one from 260 sample sale and let me tell you the sample sales be a sailing so i i love this peplum hopefully i don't think i'm in frame i don't think i am let me move the hair a little and possibly move these things over and back in that way am i better now I think I am better in frame now. So here's the back of it. It's just the most adorable thing. I had to have it. Hopefully you can see that. And it, it's a nice fit. I got a size larger than I usually get. 
I may nip it and tuck it just a little bit because it's a little roomy right here. But I was thinking about possibly like the type of bra that I'm going to wear or if I'm going to wear a shirt under it. Anyway, it's a nice fit either way. Um, but the peplum is just so cute on this. And I wouldn't necessarily wear it this way. I just threw on this skirt. This is a, when I tell you this skirt has got to be 15 years old. I got this from Express. And if you know, you know. Express clothes hold up. This is one of the most comfortable skirts I own. So I'll throw it on when it starts to get a little cooler. I, I wear this a lot. And I have it in a few different colors all gray but different shades of gray um i digress so next up and i'm expecting someone so i'm thinking i'm probably going to get through maybe one thing and then um, i'm expecting a contractor because we're working on a project together and maybe i can get through one item but i know he's going to be on time so Maybe I'll get through one thing and then I'll finish filming after he leaves because I don't want to rush through this. All right. First things first is this is, what is this? Oh, this is True Jersey. So these are some hats. You know, I love a fitted. I love a snapback. And I love a New York Yankees hat. But the bottom line is, I'm a bona fide Jersey girl. So when I found this brand, I kirked all the way out. I mean, I bought so many things. And let me tell you something. Between my father and my brothers, they took my hats. So I had to reorder. And I gladly did because I love you know you love the rep where you're from. And so I had to, if I can throw up a photo of when I'm wearing one of them. But Here are, I bought four more. So, I actually had this one already. Can you see that good? With the jersey on it. And then, this gray just, this gray did it for me. I love the gray snapback. And then, that navy. That navy is everything. And I don't even have a favorite because I love them all. But if you know me, you know my feng shui, you know I love camo. So I'm ready to rock all of these, like all winter long, all winter long. Um, like I said, I did wear one to an event and I don't know if I have good photos. If I do, I try to throw it in here, but, and this is not adjusted to my size, but you already see what it's hitting for. If you know, you know. And I love it that it's adjustable and not a fitted because when I throw my wigs on, I need to make it a little... Uh-oh, don't tell me. Oh, don't tell me this. That my snaps are not... That's not as fitted as it should be. The holes, the holes are a little loose. Oh, I don't want to have to return it. But you see what it is. You see that. If I had to put it on the last snap, the last snap is just not. It's just, look, it won't even. See that is like not even catching. See, it's just too loose. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know. I think it's this particular peg because the other ones are not ill fitted. 
it's not snapping like it should. I need my snap to be tight like the way that last one was. Okay, well, I'm going to have to see. This is why I need to have come and check. When I buy things, I need to check them out right away. Because if this needs to be returned, I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, you passed the return policy. Like, what? Do? Did any one of y'all grow up with an aunt that always looked like this? Head side up with a... Anyway. Anyway. So, this is True Jersey. Um, I love these. I'm going to probably have to return this one. I'm going to check them all out and see if, you know, the snaps are good on all of them. All right. Oh, I just, wait. Let me try to bring them on because I, I've, been, I've been excited about them. See, you hear those snaps? That's how that snap's supposed to be. That's how the snap is supposed to be, like that. That's everything. Like, what? That's everything. So, let me step back. Because, of course, I have to make sure I'm in frame. But, that is everything. You know, I love a good baseball head. Um, all right, like I said, I'm gonna check on my all of my snaps to make sure they are snapping as they should. Are you like me? And you're like, I know I want to see every color on your head. <laughs> all right, let me show you. Um, I'll show you the blue. This even feels like it just feels secure. That's how the snap is supposed to sound. That's the blue. The blue is cold. <laughs> I love the blue. Okay. And this is the black. So like I said, get up a little closer on the black so you can see that black. Yeah. As you can see, y'all know I love a baseball cat so all right next up what do we have oh um what is this i'm not so sure it's not showing me who this is from usps Okay, maybe I will get to something that's a little easier. I just grabbed a couple pairs of shoes from a couple, a couple pairs of shoes from Nordstrom Rack. And it was just a quick run through. I had some spare time and I really tried. And... Um, these are Mark Fisher. I just am swooning over the color. I really, really am. The color is just insane. And you know, we're going crazy for red this fall, winter. So it was just perfect. Now, I still need to try them on just to get a feel for them. Make sure, make sure I like the way I look when I stand in them because... I have one bow leg, so that can be tricky sometimes in a boot. And, 
or one is more bold than the other. Anyway, it can be tricky. So I figured these are real pretty. They have that built-in slouch. I love these. They'll probably be about mid-calf. They're real cute. I might try these on after the contractor leaves. Um, I don't think he has gotten here yet. I'm expecting him at one. So, yeah, these are really, really, really gorgeous. And not much of a huge commitment dollar-wise. Okay, I just saw a message come up on my phone, so maybe that's him. Stand by. Okay, that's him. We'll, we'll resume afterwards. Okay, that was him. And now I'm all done and I can relax. Um, we just did some... Uh, we just had to have a little powwow about some details of the project and... We were able to execute execute rather quickly. Let me put a hat on my wit on my mannequin because I gotta show her some respect. She can't be, you know, when you take a wig off, you gotta at least show the girl some respect. So, you know, she gotta be. Come on now, that's better. <clears throat> All right, so where were we? We were on these boots. And now, I'll put them on after I open everything, but we left off on these Mark Fisher. I'm sure this is some sort of synthetic material. Um, you know, but they, you know, Mark Fisher, been around a long time, well made. So we are gonna rock with that. They're really cute. I don't know the heel height, but I would give it about three, three and three quarters or four inches. Um, all right, I got another pair of shoes from Nordstrom Rack. I wasn't sure about these and I'm gonna tell you why. For starters, they are absolutely beautiful. They really are a pair of Sam Edelman but I am not, in general, a chartreuse girl. But these, I thought, were absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to have to take the paper off. But just look at that shoe. That's a beautiful shoe. I mean, it really is a gorgeous shoe. So, I mean, you can see a little bit of what the strap looks like. I am going to take one off and I'll just try them on with one off because if I'm not going to keep them, it just doesn't necessarily make sense to take both pieces of paper off or I see how they have them wrapped. I could rewrap them if, you know, I just think they're beautiful. So I'll also try these on but the heel the heel is what did it for me I like the heel height and just a pretty shoe now I'm starting to regret not getting the dress from the pretty little thing Naomi Campbell collab because she had a chartreuse cow neck short kind of flirty very sexy and not that you have to be matchy matchy, but I think this would have been, it would have been a lit. I really do believe it would have been. So I'll just take one of the wraps off. Okay, that's going to, looks like it may have to be cut. Let's see how well this one is wrapped. Okay, easy peasy. Somebody already said, yeah, you're going to have to let me see that strap. Hopefully, I can rewrap it just as nicely if I decide against them. But 
It really is a pretty shoe. Isn't that beautiful? I just think that's a beautiful, nice, conservative, which I am not. But I can be if I need to be. I know how to dress when, I know how to be conservative when the occasion calls for it. But I am definitely not your typical conservative classy broad by far. Okay. And nor do I aspire to be. Okay, so next up. I still don't know what this is, so let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up. Um, okay, it doesn't have a pull tab, so. If you know this is my unboxing chair until I find something. Luxury designer fashion. Okay, Lux dress. delivered these boots didn't cause a crease in them but this is how they're packed and it's a taller boot so clearly you know it's folded over I don't know if that's going to be problematic we gonna see oh the color is Pretty. Ah, ah, ah. I've been wanting these for a while. If you don't know, I have loved turquoise since I can remember learning color, seeing color. Whenever I would color in nursery school, or I always wanted a turquoise crayon. I always used it. Now, this is leaning more teal and I actually thought it was going to be a good pairing with this bag that I just showed you, but it's not. It is not. They are not even remotely. Let me show you. They're not even remotely close. Well, let me show you that this is what I was hoping for I was hoping for a real come up on this and it's fine it's fine but I was that's what I had in mind for these um hmm. I love them though I think they're beautiful they're like a crushed velvet look so That is more along the lines of the color of that shoe. So, it definitely presented different online color wise. But let me tell I'm going to show you something that I always really, really 
fuss about. <clears throat> you see how even this brand, which is not a top tier brand, you see how they cover the zipper? Do you know that high-end luxury brands are not even taking the time to cover the zipper? If the zipper is not a part of the overall design of the shoe, we don't want to see the zipper. We want the look to be uninterrupted. So take a little time and just put that one extra piece of leather or material over the zipper, please, please. Especially when it's a boot that's more like a combat boot that ties in the front, but you put the zipper on the side for ease of access, cover that zipper, like cover that. Anyway. Okay, zipper is nice. Okay, I'll try these on as well. So that's, that's, wait a minute. This is, this is sizing up to be a shoe unboxing. With the exception of this peplum, that I just got in. Um, this is just a bunch of shoes. Oh, and hat. Okay. Next up. Is this box. Now, this has been here for a while. And I have been needing to get to it oh, this is um from bloomies bloomingdale's had a sale So now, if you've heard me talk about MCM, which I think I talked about in my um, bag collection that if I had to start over, MCM would be one of the bags that I would keep. And, you know, I have a love for MCM that just goes back to my childhood. So I'm going to always love MCM. And I'm talking about the Visitos, the, 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 the khaki color, the original that I, I believe is the original. Um, I love MCN. Always will. Like I will rock an all logo out MCM fit and be like, yeah. So here we go. I went crazy when I saw these. So I hope that they are all that. Hope they live up to the online visual because that's where I saw them first or that's only that's the only place I've seen them online but I absolutely went crazy over these she's your queen to be to quit your royal fire So as you can see, you know I love a Timbaland boot. I love a th lug sole 
anything. These right here, they had just enough MCM on them, even though I can do MCM overload all day long. But what made these distinct from everything else that I've seen is this long kind of neck. The other MCM boots that I had seen, they were a little shorter, a little lower. But when I saw these right here, excuse me, come on. I said, yeah, I'm going to N-E-E-D those. Mm -hmm. I love them. I absolutely love them. And if you if you if you from the northeast, we don't even have to have a discussion about this at all. At all. Or I mean, I can't speak for anywhere else in the country, but I would like to think the girls that's from the cold weather, you already know what it's hitting for my I love them. I love them. So I do need to get these tried on. Please tell me. Okay, yes, they sent the right size. I have a 38. Ugh, come on. Y'all, you already know how hard I'm going to rock these. Like, I think you know. You get me? I mean, it was something even about this little lip right here that comes up and you see how, pardon me, and you see how it also has that little lip that comes up there. Most of them are just straight around. There were little details, the way that this turns into that V in it, like the points, the little details. And then the quilting, like that puffer, I had to have them. I had to have these. And of course, you know, I have quite a bit of MCM, but I mean, of course I have this. Like you, you don't even love MCM if you don't have this bad thing. This is just your basic the MCM starter. This is a starter kit. But y'all already know what it's going to be. Anyway, I think you can tell that I love MCM. All right. Now, let me see if I can run through these boots real quick. But what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to put you at another angle because if I don't, you won't be able to see my feet. So, here we go. Let's see. Hmm. I think I should turn my camera like that. Okay, how does that look? Let me get my feet. I think that might be just what just what we need. I think that works. Okay. So the first pair of shoes was what? These red boots. So let's get the paper out of these. Now, I don't have a stocking on, so hopefully these boots don't give me hell I'm trying to get into them. Please just let me slide in these boots because ain't nobody got time for this at all. Right. 
Ooh, Pisces going right in. I love it when that happens. All right, now, don't give me trouble. Come on now. Oh, I was going to say, now, don't do me. These are, hard. these are, these are, these are hard. These are real cute. Now, you see what I'm talking about? Like one leg will do something a little different. But yeah. Yeah, this is a cute little, this is cute. Like this is the kind of boot where I don't care what you're wearing. Just throw the boots on. It don't even matter what you got on, girl. Just put the boots on. They're real cute. I think they could do they could do a little something for a red fall winter. I think I think I could rock these for a red fall winter. Anyway, what you think? You think these are cute? Did I even say what's up to the fly girls and the fly guys? I'm slipping on my job. Shout out to all my fly girls and my fly guys. I'm playing a lot of games today. I got distracted. Cute, right? Yeah, they're cute. Okay. Now, I hope it's not hell getting them off. Uh-oh. Houston, we might got ourselves a problem. Let me sit on this chair and act like I know. Ooh, thank you for not giving me hell. This one, problem child. Mm -mm -mm. Seem like you want to give me a little fight. <sighs> All right. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. First off, I shouldn't have put it on without a pads on anyway. I already knew that, so. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even have a shoehorn. Like, how are you going to be a shoe girl without a shoehorn? I couldn't tell you where that shoehorn is if you offer me one million dollars. Mm-mm. She don't want to move, y'all. Oh, what is I'm going to do? in this shoe to get her off. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I'm going to get her off. I feel her sticking point. And if I could get past that sticking point. Turn this way. To get past this sticking point, ah, uh, I could get her off. When I say she sucked on good, Lord, Lord, I should have known if it was this hard to get in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I might have to do her like this. And Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Lord, I 
need to get out of this shoe. Oh my gosh. When I say I'm stuck, somebody tell me what to do. Oh my gosh. This need to be live. Okay, let me think. I don't have a shoehorn. I need to put that on my wish list. I need a shoehorn. Or maybe one of these hangers can get down in this shoe. Ooh. Can I get one of these hangers down in this shoe? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me see. I'm gonna have to get, I don't even wanna step on it and push my foot back down in it. Okay. Let's see if I can use one of these hangers to get this shoe off. Ooh. Come on now before I start. I think I moved past that sticking spot. Almost. I think. Oh my gosh. What's happening right now? Give us free. This is not good. Oh, I feel. Oh, woo! Cause baby. I was about 10 seconds away from tripping. All right. Let's see what this boot is hitting for. Because I've had these for a little minute. I think they've been here maybe like a little, maybe a week before I left for Jamaica. So... I would say maybe I've had them now for about two weeks, two full weeks, and I want to get these bad boys tried on. really love that for me let's see let's give it a chance go on honey give it a chance if you're really a prince I'll marry you Okay, so part of the reason why I wanted these is because if you recall, Zara had an aqua kind of turquoise colored boot that the girls went up for. And when I tell you I walked into my Zara, saw the boot, they were, there were plenty of them there. 
and I didn't get it. And yet turquoise is one of my favorite colors, which is so odd. I really can't reconcile my thoughts why I didn't get that boot as much as I love the color. But I didn't. Then it got to the point where now everyone that bought them, you started to see them style them. And I said to myself, I'm like, come on, yo, yo. You know you love that boot. Why didn't you get that boot? I didn't get it. And it's it sold out. So that was that. So when I saw this, it's sort of like the same height, same sort of style, only this is a little a little doper because of that point that comes up. I love that point that comes up right there. So, and it's a little more vibrant than the Zara boot, but it's still the same color family. The boots were just gorgeous. I mean, all the dope girls got them. So, except for me. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about these just yet. And I better go check their return policy because I'm not so sure about these. I love them and I don't. Like, tell me what you think. I love them and I... And I, when I say I don't, this mean I, I could leave, I could take them or leave them. Like I'm not like tripping. Like I feel more strongly about that red boot than I do this. But it's something about this color that's just keeping me stuck, and the cut on the boot. Like if we can get that cut is 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 mean. Like that cut is mean. It is mean now. That cut is mean. Y'all gotta let me know what you think. And I I think if you feel me on this, I may go with the consensus. Like if, if the majority of you say, nah, yo, you could do without that boot. I might send it back. But if y'all be like, no, don't sleep. Like the boot gonna come in handy. You gonna rock it. It's gonna be hard when you like I I'm I just want to hear what you have to say. Because I do like the boot. It's the cut that's getting me. That cut is mean. You know I love a. You know I love anything that's gonna give you a little bit of. Uh, who me? Did I do that? Yeah, I I like that cut on it. I'm kind of. I feel like I'm talking myself into it, but it's the cut and it's the color. And it's not an insane heel height. They kind of. They kind of fresh. Like. They kind of fresh. I'm feeling them. Anyway, let me know what you think. Because I don't know what the return policy is at this place. I've never shot with them before. And we don't want no problems. All right. At least we know I'm going to be able to get out of these. Okay, and then I did say I would try on the Mark Fishers, right? I'm sorry, the Sam Edelman's, which are under here. I'm just going to take one. Of the sleepers off or do I need to take both off I need to take both off right wouldn't even make sense not to take both wraps off all right that really is a pretty lady like shoe I can be ladylike. Of course I can. Of course. But of course. Y'all 
they are really pretty. They really, really are gorgeous. And, you know, I tend not to like this color. But I'm feeling differently right now. I'm thinking the color is gorgeous. Now, I love gold. And this is leaning gold, but... And it might help if I put some lotion on these heels. But they really are a beautiful shoe. They are pretty, aren't they? I mean, that's a beautiful shoe. Oh, man, I need some lotion on my feet. Sure. is a pretty shoe I must say now interestingly enough I just grabbed them but I was like oh, I'm gonna end up taking those back but I think these may be I may need to make room on the shelf for these hmm let me know what you think. Hmm. Okay. Now, to the creme, the la creme of it all. Oh, they got them laced up just right, too. Oh, they got them laced right. Y'all, they are really packed. I do have to try them on though because I do need to make sure they fit perfectly. Now, I'm not even going to play with these. I'm going to just go ahead and find a sock real quick. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I see what they did. They're not trying to let me get in this. Ooh. Everyone, the way they lace these, and I get it, but because they're laced from the bottom down, they gonna make me work for it. Like what? They gonna make me work for this. It's not that bad. I was going to tell you, you know, y'all just going to have to see me when I wear them because y'all just going to have to catch me. Let me grab a sock because I can't go through that again. Stand by. Tried to find something really thin that I could just slide into. slide in easily. Let me turn this way. Have a little decorum.
Oh, they fit to a T. I probably should have gotten an eight and a half in these. They are to a T, T, T. I definitely couldn't wear a sock any thicker than this little hoodie situation. I mean, they just dope for no reason at all. I love them. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I like these a lot. I definitely like these. Cute, cute. Cute, cute, right? And real cute. Mm -hmm. They are. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking because I do love them. I do love them. Let me know what you think. And you know, this is not out of my zone because, you know, like I said, I have all kinds of Timberlands and Love Souls and all of that. This right up my alley. Tell me what you think. Okay, so that's everything new in. It was one, two, three pairs of boots, a pair of shoes, my snapbacks, my jersey snapbacks, and this peplum top, this Ronnie Kobo peplum top. Now, I'm going to rewind and take you to Jamaica last week. What's up? It's Yo-Yo the House Lady. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm getting ready to go to Jamaica, and I'm going to vlog this whole thing, or at least that is the goal but it's already starting out rocky number one i think it's almost 10 o'clock and my flight leaves at 7 a.m in the morning so there's that and i have not done anything the only thing i did earlier was wash my hair so that i could stretch it out because i still need to color my hair tonight before i leave for jamaica in the morning so i gotta get my hair colored i have to pack um and i'm not one of those great packers like I really wish I was but I'm just going to grab things and throw them in the suitcase with the hopes I mean I have some idea of what I'm doing but with the hopes that when I get there everything that I bring is going to come together seamlessly um so there's some main things that I absolutely must not forget one of those is with of course my passport which is in the suitcase already and i'm gonna zip that up i'm gonna zip that up right now so wait let me check okay yes it's in there and it's zipped up um i won't take that out until i get to the airport number two is to measure my luggage i think i measured it already um, I travel a lot, but I don't, I usually take a personal item and that's enough because my trips are usually very short unless they turn into a very long trip. But, um, I measured, I, I measured, so I don't need to measure again. Yeah, I have a carry on. I definitely am not taking check luggage. I don't have the bandwidth to check luggage unless it's going to be a really long trip. So, um, I grabbed, um, a couple of things from the cleaners. I didn't have them clean. I just had them press, um, you know, starch. Cause I just did not feel like ironing. Um, it's already getting hot in here. So I need to go and mess with this AC. Stand by. Okay. So 
love just kind of grabbing a few things. First things first, if it's one thing I cannot stand is to go somewhere and not have my sunglasses. Um, a friend of mine gave me this because she knows that I am a, oh gosh, it's already full of sunglasses. Okay, I'm going to take these out. I don't even know what's in here. Let's see. Those are like a rose colored sunglass. I think I do have a swimsuit that has a little rose gold on it. So maybe I will take these. Um, it says, like it holds five pairs of sunglasses and then it folds in like this what shape is that one this um extra um i have a, a black pair these are cute um i know i've never worn these these are brand spanking i mean she's cute um, maybe, maybe she can stay. Okay. What else? Um, this is a pair. Oh gosh, these are cute too. I mean, all of my sunglasses are cute. But I'm going to take these out. I know I definitely want to take, I definitely am going to take these Tom Ford glasses um, because I have a few things that are like this off-white kind of color. So I'll definitely take these. Please don't give me trouble. Like, please. Nope, they're not on, so definitely they are basically telling me they want their own place. And that is the only way that it's going to be. So. might I mean they're just so cute I'm gonna have to find a way all right that'll be my sixth pair because I know um let's see I get anxious when I pack um okay so I definitely want to take these long chumps I hope that these fit because oh gosh they're too big I never tried this out before these are too big as well so that means oh, they're not staying home so that means I might end up not even taking this because my sunglasses thus far are too big and I'm definitely taking, so I'm taking the Tom, the Tom Fords, the Longchamps, and this Gucci pair. Taking these. These are old throwback. I love these. Um, taking those. And there's another pair that is also like the size of these glasses, so looks like that little case is not going to make it on the trip. Here's another pair that I really love. Um, 
I just think they make you look like such a geek. I love them. <laughs> Sunglasses, you know, I gotta have an all black pair. That's a non negotiable. So, I'm gonna find a case for this black pair. And then I think, oh, there's another pair I want to take. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. All of these are going to fit in this suitcase. Um, definitely need to take these. So, if I don't know, I'm going to have to find yet another case. This isn't looking promising as far as space is concerned. So at least I know I'll put these right here. So I know I'm really gonna know what I'm gonna do with these. So I know you're like, why aren't they going in the suitcase right now? But I won't forget. the way I need to compartmentalize things. So these things can actually go back in since these were just kind of like placeholders. Since I'm not taking these things, the thought never occurred to me that my sunglasses may be too big to fit. So, hmm. okay, so not ideal for oversized sunglasses. Trust that. That's not going. Now, I have a bit of a kooky way of packing. So, as I mentioned, I'm not a good packer. This is what I do. So, Things say it's pretty reliable. So this is what I do. Like I have a bunch of things over here that are in bags, like little stuff. I mean, I haven't probably haven't even seen these things since I bought them, but it's time now. So. One of the things I have is this rat and boa dress. So, for me, like, I just as well keep it in the bag, but I'll show you the dress. So, I probably had this dress for two years, and I've never worn it. So I'm going to take this on the trip for sure. You know, a little sexy number. Okay, so that's one thing, right? It works for me. Like, that's one thing. And then I have the cream color Tom Ford dresses if I gotta give it some pizzazz. Or the brown long shops probably would be better with it. So I put it back in the bag. And we knock the paper.
address. Okay. Um, oh. Anything that's like fun, I'm just gonna grab it. So, like these two jars. These are just something I grabbed from like, I grabbed these from Marshalls. They were just two cute tops I saw in there. And so I'm just gonna throw these in the suitcase. No rhyme or no reason. I don't have anything to go with it. Don't know what I'm going to wear with it. But it'll come together. Alright. I know I said that I was not going to wear those go-go shorts. The sequin ones I just showed you in the Zara haul. I know I told you I wasn't going to wear those until next summer. Because I need to do some wall Pilates and my legs don't look good. Uh, change of plans. They're going in the suitcase. Now I don't know if I'm gonna wear them, but they're going in the suitcase. Like, it's no way I'm going to Jamaica and I'm not taking the latte riders. You already know that. So, that's what that's going in. Because let me just throw these. Let's see, because they're coming. Um, you know what? I'll take that same paper that was in the dress. If you're wondering why I'm not speaking so loud, it's because my daughter is asleep and I'm trying to be courteous because I'm going to wake her up soon so she can help me do my hair because I can't see in the back. I'm trying to let her get some sleep. need to start coming out as I go along. Now, of course, we're going to be at the resort. We're going to be poolside. Um, um, I need all of, okay. You know, a captain is a must. So that's definitely gonna have to go. So I'm bringing this captain. And that can be poolside or we can go, or somewhere if we go out dining. Okay. Um, what else? Move oh, this chair over. So my rack. See, I'm getting the studio together. Ooh, like that. So, um, let's see what else. Okay. I have this vintage Ralph Lauren terry cloth number. So, size situation so it's 
12 lounges. So this is this is definitely a vintage Ralph Lauren piece. I try to take as good of care, as great of care of her as I can. I keep the inside out. So she's going in. So the moment I know that she's going in, then I know that I want a pretty slipper for her. So you know what I'm gonna grab? Do you remember? I have a few slides, but do you remember the shoes that I showed you in the Zara haul? I have to find them. I hope they're not too far. I'm going to pull this in. She's in. The snag is, the snail is snagging, so I'm going to have to, I don't really like to let, um, sit in jail now and let them do my nails. Only my feet, so I have to, I can't do my nails three times. Do you remember these shoes from the Zara haul? Yepper, it's her time now. It's her time to shine. So this is another pair of shoes, and not necessarily from Terry Cross Dress. It could be, but I'm gonna take these off. It's another pair of shoes. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Says Jenny in the set. Okay, here's some. This is a this is an oldie right here. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen her in forever. Okay. Definitely taking her. She appears to be in really good shape. Okay. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a little spot. tell you what I love about my girl we're going to celebrate her birthday I love it when you have a girlfriend that says you need to be on your ish not like oh well you know it's my birthday so take it easy no my girl said the fit is all eyes on you so make it your birthday love that all right, here's a little top I've had hanging around that I got from Focal European. I've never worn this, so this, you know, might end up going with something. A little triangle top. So that can go. Um, I definitely need a bathrobe, but I'm going to take a Venice one. I would like to think that there's a bathrobe there and I don't have to take it. But if there isn't, I'm going to be very upset because I love to be in my bathrobe. So if I keep this little thin one, because it's thin and warm, it's thin and warm. Not my like silky sexy one because they don't be hitting on nothing. They be cold. So take that. can control, since I'm not rooming with anyone, I can control the heat and the air, so I really don't have to take that robe. I really could take a pretty one, and I think I want to take a pretty one, so I think I'll put old Agatha back. She can stay home. I'll take a pretty robe. Okay, this might go might stay because she might be taking up precious real estate. Let's see. Um so stuff like this. I have to 
little really cute white jumper that I haven't worn in probably like three years and that might be something nice to take I'm gonna take this clothes on video situation this lightweight like it has a nice weight to it but it's colorful, it's tropical, it's beautiful. I think it's so cute. So she's going in a one piece Evie dress. You can't, I can't go on vacation be having to think about a whole lot. One piece Evie dress. So I'm, I'm contemplating taking my steamer, but I'm like, the hotel has to have a steamer. And those are the things that really, when I'm on my game, I would know already. I would know whether there are robes. I would know whether there are slippers. I would know whether there are beach towels and whether there's a steamer ironing board, etc. at the hotel. I would know that already, but I'm not on my game on this one. So... Let's see what else we have here. Um, I think uh, that would be perfect. I could throw this little bathing suit in there. I think I can I throw that in there. I haven't even gotten to bathing suits yet. So while I see it in, in front of me, gonna throw it in there or it might not make it in there okay had to grab a few pair of my skankiest shorts you probably hear these on the plane but I, I have good sense I'm going to wear probably this long denim top over it because you know an airplane has discretion when it comes to your dress and we don't want no problems so I'll have that on but I'm gonna get underneath and just a couple pair of shorts these three line cut off shorts put those in there I'm gonna wear these This is like a little local Burkina top for a cute shape. This is some bikini bottom I bought, I think, from Victoria's Secrets. This top I think I bought from Target. I just got this top, like all this other stuff I've had forever. Okay. And the next one. And I don't love a matching bathing suit and sometimes yeah, but I just don't like matching bathing suits. So I usually will end up only getting a top or a bottom. And then sometimes I'll buy the whole bathing suit, but I'll never wear it together. You know, riddle me that one. But oh, here's another. I just bought this. It's like a fishnet jumper. I don't even know. I probably have had this for five years. So 
medium with her. She too is still in her bag. looks a little too big for me. It's so small. This looks like something I might have needed in an extra small, but I'll take this. Um, that looks like fun. Is pajamas. This bikini bottom from Latin Boa that I've probably had this for about two years now. And I just love this. I love this. Um, I think I'll throw her in. You know what? This might be a good look with the bikini bottom. Since it has orange in it. Let's see. together. Um, all right, I'm going to start messing with my head and I don't know whether I am going to drive and park at the airport if I'm going to take an Uber and a lot of times that depends on the time that I'm returning because if I'm returning in the morning or in the afternoon I really don't like to take an Uber because there are things that I want to do so when I get out of the airport I don't want to have to go home then come back out I like to get in my car and then go do the things I want to do for that day so sometimes I may just pay to park as opposed to taking an Uber which might be the case for this trip. I'm not so sure yet, but I'm gonna finish packing because you know, shoot, we haven't even gotten to shoes, jewelry, makeup, wigs. So, and then I still have my hair to do. So, uh, yeah.
All right, I arrived at Hotel Rio earlier this morning, but I have just been running around the resort. So I have not even filmed a room tour and now the sun is setting. So as you, maybe I can start from, enter in as you can see i have unpacked that's part of my modus operandi i have to unpack as soon as i get to my location because it just it's a function thing for me i need to i just need to see my things i already unpacked in the bathroom this is the bathroom The shower area. I don't know about you, but I put down bath mats ASAP. Um, I already hung my things up in the closet. Little butler area. Can we, can I, come on, a little commotion for the uh, liquor on tap. Now, I probably won't mess with any of it because... It's plenty all around the resort and it's all inclusive, but okay. Um, so I have, I'll have to put the name of this room. I think it is a junior suite, but it's king size bed. Um, practically, yeah, full length mirror, I guess you could say. Um, and then we head out to the balcony. So here's the room from this view. And then there's this glass partition and a little step down, which we step here, step here down into this little nook and you can see I already have drawers packed full of stuff. And then this is my view. But I love to people watch, so I love that I'm right here at the pool. And if you can see beyond the pool trees, right there, I can see the ocean. So I get, I don't know if you can tell that that's the ocean back there but I can get, um, I know I'm gonna get a beautiful sunrise. 11.44. Now I'm going in to take a little nappy nap and get ready for dinner and drinks and more drinks. Okay, OOTM, this is my caftan that I'm sure you've seen before because I love it so much. I wear it into the ground. And um, I forget where I get this from, so I'll have to put it in the description. Um, but I've had it for a while now. Um, I think I have, I think I have pics on Insta with this on. I forget, where does this come from? Anyway. Um, I have on this bikini bottom from Rat and Boa. Um, and then I just grabbed a quick top because I really don't like matching bikinis. Um, sometimes if it's really special, but I just don't like a match. Um, and then just my Celine sandals um, and these Longchamp earrings and did I say earrings? Longchamp glasses. These are the sunnies. And then these earrings, I believe, are Andrea Yama. Um, and then the wig, you already know, Beauty Supply. Because, um, yeah, no. Anyway, I'm going for cocktails first, then breakfast, then massage, then the beach. And, you know, it's legal. So, you dig?
I know the city girl name is Maxine. The beauty's like a bunch of rolls. But if I ever tell you about Maxine, you only say I don't know what I know. I'm a good face and back character. Then the kind of living cow. Your face is pretty, but your character dirty. Girl, you're just an actor. Blurted, blurty, you're running time, dick. And also, Harry, and when you find your mistake, you talk about your sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm a good face and back character. Girl, you're just an actor. Blurted, blurty, you're running time, dick. And also, Harry, and when you find your mistake, you talk about your sorry. Sorry, sorry. So I totally forgot my OOTD, which, well, OOT N for bit of a celebration these these shoes are jessica simpson i don't know how old they are they were gifted to me a friend of mine gave them to me um this dress is rat and boa it's the first time i've ever worn it i've had it for about maybe i don't know two years now um The glasses, I think you guys know these glasses. They are Tom Ford with the yellow lens. It's the like cream color with the yellow lens. And then the earrings are If You Dare. Um, and that's that. And that's just my little, uh, I forget what this is. I know what it is, but just my bracelet. And I threw my wig on because you know, that's what I do. And if you're wondering why you only see one earring, it's because um, I twisted the other one. So just figured I'd show the most dominant ear because I was going to wear the earrings like <laughs> it's part of the fit. So it's what we're doing. Anyway, this is it. And I'm about to change because this was just the fit for dinner. And next up is the club so i am going to change and do a little razzle dazzle real quick and i'll get right back at y'all Vamos, vamos. 
Just like that, it was time to say farewell to Jamaica. I woke up to this beautiful sunrise and just took a moment to bask in the glory of God and all of his awesome wonders. Jamaica was indeed a time. And this is me trying to get it together with this airport fit as I await my driver who insists that we will be at that airport at least two hours before my scheduled departure time. And he seemed serious, so I made sure I was up and dressed and ready to go. <music>